All right, we're in a flow at this point, but this next one's a little frustrating, and it happens a lot in programming, where you'll get a requirement that doesn't really make 100% of sense, or it seems to have a, a, some ambiguity on the edges, and you just can't get clarity, whether it's from another developer or a product owner or a business person or a client. And so the only recourse you have is to abstract and shield yourself in your class so you still support the same public API, but you abstract it and make sure that you leave an escape hatch for changing the behavior in case you actually get requirements that either completely change what you thought or maybe kind of go along what you were thinking but didn't implement. So for example, they say null insertions and then they put empty strings in like parentheses. What does that mean? Does that mean null? Does that mean undefined? Does that mean falsy values in JavaScript? Or does that just mean like what you meant was empty strings but not null? Like this is really important in JavaScript. It's not important in other languages. Like Python just has none and doesn't have that falsy nonsense. Whereas Elm doesn't even have null. Very confusing. So we're gonna copy paste this requirement because we don't even know what it means <laughs> at this point. And we're just gonna do our best abstract our, ourselves, shields up, shields double front, const array. Just go array.add uno, array.add empty string. And we're doing this second for a couple reasons. First, we got to test obviously that you can't add empty strings, but we also want to put it last to make sure it puts it first to kind of gum up the gears. So we're, we're hoping this is a really good test. The array dot length two equal one. So our test should immediately fail. Fantastic, it does. All right, so let's go and just do the simple implementation first, the second step of just the bare minimum. If item is an empty string, then return. Okay, fantastic, it passed. Now we're gonna do the refactor step and just create a private method in case we change our mind later, they give us better requirements So what null means, who knows. Say if null insert, and null insert could be whatever. For now, we're gonna assume it's blank, but if it's not blank, it's null, it's undefined, who knows? Whatever those requirements are, they say, no, 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 we don't want you to add undefined or null, then we can change it, right? But for now, we're not. So we're just gonna say, if item is an empty string, then we'll return true. Otherwise, we'll return false. And we'll say, if this dot is null insert, item, then return. Right, so we've protected ourselves because we could change this later to be null and define it would prevent all of those from actually getting in there, but it still has the same public API. So our test pass, done the third step of refactoring and we've prevented ourselves from getting hurt in the future. We have a nice little escape hatch using abstraction with a private method.